kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. And so, guys, in this video series, I will be teaching you on how you can create your own YouTube app using YouTube API in Android Studio. All right. So, guys, I am back after a long time. So, I was busy uh, with my job, and yes, now I will try to make uh, the videos. And okay, so now let's get started. All right, guys. So in my previous video or the part one of the video, I had shown you the demo of how the application will look like. So here I have this application, and there you can see I have this YouTube channel app, and there you can see we have the videos. Uh, we have the two uh, view pages, okay, and we have the two fragments. The first one is the videos fragment. and the second one is the playlist fragment so what we can i will teach you is that how you can fetch all the videos from your any youtube channel into your application and then here you can see we have the we have the the thumbnail and we have the text of the video or the title of the video okay so here we are displaying it inside our recycler view and then uh, sorry guys okay so now if we play any of the video so here you can see i have played this video and this video will be played using the youtube player all right so that's how you can play uh, since it can create or it can cause the copyright problem in my in my youtube channel so that's why i am not going to play any of these videos but there you can see you we can display all the videos and if we click on the video we can play the videos and then we have the playlist okay so here you can see these are all the playlist of a specific youtube channel all right so here you after the series you will be able to create your own youtube app with the help of the youtube data api and the youtube player using the android studio all right so let's get started so there you can see i already have this project so i will we will start from the scratch and i will teach you step by step so you just have to follow me all right and there first before that let me uh, let me uh, resize the uh, the text of my android studio so that you can look at it at the better way so here i think uh, here we have the font option and if i write it to 18 let's see sorry guys i think that's not the case if we go to our layout editor Okay, I think that is general. If we click on phone, let's have eighteen. Okay, so now you can see I have this bigger font size. So here we can create a new project, and there we can say it to be an empty activity project, and then we can rename our project as. youtube tutorial and we have to click on the language java and click on finish so these are the steps which are required in order to create your uh, the project in android studio so we will be using the android x because after the uh, 28 sdk level we have to use android x all right so after this what we are going to here you can see we have created this project with the default main activity so first of all we have to go to our manifest file and here we have to specify the user permission so for the user permission let me write okay i think there is user permission and we have to use the internet permission then here we have to use another permission 
and access network state okay these two permissions are required for our application to work successfully then here we ha have to go to our build dot gradle and here i have set the compile sdk version to 30 which is the latest one and here we have to uh, add some libraries which are which we are going to use in our project all right so there what we can add is first of all we can we have to use the uh, recycler view library then we have to use the card view then we have to use the google material and many others so first of all let let's add implementation and here we have to write android x dot recycler view dot sorry colon recycler view and we have to use 1.1.0 then we have to use implementation and here we can use android x dot card view and similarly 1.1.0 or i think we have to use some older version and then we can use implementation and for this we have to use the google material design library so it is com dot google dot android dot material and we have to use 1.2.1 then we have to use com dot scare up dot retrofit 2 and here we have retrofit 2.0.1 sorry we have to use the 2.8.1 okay so basically the we will use the retrofit library to access the youtube data api and to talk with the api so here we have implementation we have to use the json converter for the for the retrofit because that is my own way of using the retrofit so i will i will tell you all these things so you don't have to worry about it okay so you, you just have to follow me and write this here okay so here i am using com dot scare up dot sorry retrofit to converter dash json and here we have to use 2.8.1 then we have to use com dot scale up okay http3 then we have logging interceptor for 0.5.0 and then we have to use the sdp which is required for the font size so there we can say com dot int dot sdp sdp and then we can say android 1.0.6 okay and then finally we have to use the butter knife library which is uh, a view binding library so here i have to use com dot jackwagon butter knife and we have to use 10.2.1 then we have to use the compiler so for this we can say annotation processor and here we can say com dot jvarden then we have to use butter knife compiler and then we can use 10.2.1 all right then we can have to use uh, the material ripple or i think we don't need the material ripple but we need the glide so there we can say implementation com dot github dot 
bumtech dot glide glide and we have to use 4.11.0 all right so then we have to click on sync now so all these all the libraries will be uh, you can see the, the configured successful so all the, the libraries have been added to this at uh, this project all right so we have added all the libraries which are required in our project so now we will start the coding for our main activity here first of all so i think we can do it in our next part or the part three of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye